What fascinates you in uh, science fiction? Ah. The thing that fascinates me about science fiction is probably the basic fact that I'm an escapist. I, I ain't in that satisfied with the world the way it is and the way it looks and all that. So it's my way of getting away from everything else and kind of finding things that are bigger than life. Did I mean, you did you uh, always have this this feeling or was it something that happened in your youth or something you saw? Something or? something that really happened in my youth. Uh, I guess my father is to blame a lot for that because hell he introduced me and my brother to these uh, Edgarise Barrows old Mars series about this John Carter, this the greatest swordsman on two worlds, Earth yeah. and Mars, and all that and. Yeah. All this like fantastical, but also science fiction stuff, and I was probably something like maybe six or seven years old when I first time read like Lord of the Rings from Tolkien that my parents bought at that time. Uh, yeah, because I learned to read quite early. Also, I think I was four years old, and so I got into this kind of a to be a bookworm and yeah, into yeah, these yeah, different yeah. worlds I got to them in, in a really early age and then again I also got into heavy metal at quite an early age. I what 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 song or what, what band? Uh, like I think I was something like eight when when I first heard Deep Purple Fireball and the song really blew me away. Ninety nineteen seventy four seventy five? Nineteen seventy seventy four I think, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the first time that I heard that song and it blew me away. The rest of the album was kind of a absurd to me at that time, but I, but I learned to listen to the whole album later on. And also I was something like nine years old when I got hooked into Black Sabbath, the master of reality, which is really like a, the basics of heavy metal for these days as well, because that was probably their heaviest album so far. And what is uh, then, and, what is then the link And then, you? then the, when you kind of understand the combination when you get to the school you start to study English you start to study the stuff and then you kind of get to realize that actually a lot of the stuff that for instance Black Sabbath did and a lot of the stuff that I was reading at that time were basically kind of a very good mix they were already familiar with each other with all these you know kind of a fantastic elements and Iron strange Man, stranger yeah. worlds and all that yeah Iron Man is science fiction pretty lousy science fiction if you ask me but but still it is, yeah still and if you're like nine years old that kind of thing well it can blow your mind away okay um, and you also um, sometimes you have a soft spot for uh, women music yeah that's when? true well, when you have a, when you're mellow or when you're with your mom or when I guess well the Basically, the best and the worst spot is when you've been touring for like a so week and a half, and you really start to miss your family and your home and all that. And then you listen to something like that. And, oh shit! I wish I was home. <laughs> what song then, or what? What? Uh, because you, uh, I read it was Kate Bush and Tori Amos for you. Mm, yeah, well, uh, I guess I really well. The one thing that moves me still after all these years is Tori Amos' song on Little Earthquakes, Winter which I really find a really good song. And I, I guess so has some other people since I, I've heard this Dream Theater doing their live cover show. Yeah? <laughs> and they did that song as well, but not so successfully, okay. to my opinion. Okay.